What is going on beautiful people? I'm Shirlene Radlin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am doing something that has been highly requested from you guys and I'm finally getting around to doing it. And it is the dun -dun -dun, Revlon One Step Volumizer Plus. Plus. This is technically like the second generation, maybe the third generation of this Revlon blow dryer. I had done like a year ago, I think about a year ago, the original Revlon, which I have here, I still have it, even though it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. I saved it for the purpose of this video, but uh, here it is. This is the original one that I got and I used, and it's actually one of my most successful videos. So thank you guys for watching it. Since then, I have bought a couple of the other Revlon blow dryers. So for example, I use the Revlon Root Booster, which I absolutely love. I am really excited to be trying out the second or the third generation of this Revlon blow dryer because this one has a low, medium, and high setting, whereas the other ones just had cool, low, high. So this one has an extra setting. So I'm actually really excited to see how it makes my hair look and feel and if the results are the same because the Revlon, the original Revlon, it really did its thing. And then the Root Booster definitely did its thing. So it's got its work cut out for it. Anyways, let's jump on in. We're gonna open it. Um, I kind of opened the box and tore the, <laughs> the ribbon off. So uh, there's that. So we're gonna open it up. Here we go. This is it. Oh, don't, oh, don't. Okay. So this one's a little bit different. This one has a, okay, let me do one thing at a time. So this one actually comes in two separate pieces and I'm actually interested to know if Revlon would be planning on coming out with different um, head pieces, like different sizes, different attachments. So we're gonna clip that on. Oh, that was easy, okay. And then it's got this little latch right here if I want to disconnect. Oh, that's easy. Okay, that's good to know. All right, great. So here it looks almost similar to the regular Revlon. I'm gonna have them side by side. This one is a little bit thinner, size of it is smaller, uh, but it does have the same Boris bristle heads. It does have the um, other bristle heads as well. This one is red, whereas this one's pink. And you can see just to compare with the Root Booster as well, this one has got a more of a round head, which was this one's more oval and pink and red and yeah. So that is the difference between those two. I'm gonna... All right, so we're gonna plug this in. I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I've done in every single video, but I am gonna be trying a new product. Um, this is one that I received from Day and I use it on my curly hair and I gotta say, I am obsessed with this product. I'm like, I need this in my routine forever and always. So this is the only thing that I'm adding to my hair routine. Um, other than that, I'm just using the Nature Lab Smooth Blowout, which I've used in every single video because I absolutely love it. And a little bit of the shine spray right at the end. With my last video, uh, I actually realized that someone wrote in the comments that I don't need to be using the cool air to dry my hair faster. Uh, it would actually be counterintuitive and I should just go straight to just blow drying my hair. So we're gonna try that out as well. I'm gonna just switch between the low, medium, and high and see what and how my hair kind of looks um, and how it feels and I'll give you my comments as I move along. All right, let us get started. So I'm gonna be using the uh, day. I'm gonna be using a little bit of the day. I just wanna use a little bit because it is very moisturizing, like a little a little tea, tea amount, but it does say that it is a good blowout prep cream. So that's why I'm using it on this. And I also wanna see how it makes my hair feel and look. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Nature Lab Blowout. I use a little bit of product. I try not to overdo it because if I overdo it, then my hair just feels tacky and it just doesn't look good. I'm gonna jump straight into low heat just to see uh, how it sounds. Okay. All right, this is low. I'm gonna go in. All right, I'm actually gonna go straight to medium. Let's see high. Okay, 
that blow dried my hair really fast. I think that was like two minutes. <laughs> wow. All right. It looks really good. It's got the really nice curl at the end right here. My hair feels really soft. It looks pretty good so far. Still got a little bit of curl in there. You can see that. So I'm just going to try and blow that out as straight as I can. That looks really pretty and it feels really smooth. My hair feels so smooth. Yes. I love this little curl at the end. I feel like every single Revlon product I use, like the first one that I used, the first generation, I was like, whoa, I'm blown away. Then I used the Root Booster and I was like, whoa, I'm blown away. And now I'm using this generation and I'm like, whoa, I'm blown away. So it just keeps aggressively blowing my mind. Let's lower this a little bit. See. So the ends look really nice. My roots feel really well. That was one, that's all, That's gonna be like my biggest thing with all of these videos is like, how does my roots feel? Because my roots are the first place to start to curl. And then it's just like all downhill from there because I don't want my roots to be like out here and then the rest of my hair is smooth. It just doesn't look right. So my roots feel really, really smooth and it's, uh, already giving me the rich go blowout, even though I have just started. I'm really, really, I'm really excited to see how the rest of my hair looks. Look at my roots. I just want to talk about my roots for a second. I know I talk about it every single video, but it's very important. My roots are so straight. Like, look at that. Even in between my hair. Oh. So, like, with the original, I had a really hard time blasting out and straightening the roots. And I found that like the next day or even later that day, my hair would almost get wavy at the root and I would have to keep going in. And when you keep going in with heat, you're gonna have heat damage, it's just inevitable. I'm trying to obviously limit the amount of heat that I apply to my hair as much as I can, also by using a heat protector and all of that kind of stuff. But I am shook it. <laughs> this is looking like a rich girl blowout, guys. As I'm combing through this last section, I just gotta say, I cannot believe how smooth my hair is looking and feeling. And it's just like, my hair is being blow dried so fast, so fast. Granted, I am not using the cool and the low and then going to high, I'm just going straight to medium. Also using this as a blowout prep. Oh my God. <laughs> as if I couldn't already get enough of that product with my hair curly, I am, I'm equally obsessed with it with my hair blowing it out. It's like, it holds so well. I mean, look at, look at my curls right now. I just put a little bit of it in it. And if I just left my hair like this, I feel like it would dry so well it, it, with just the product. I'm blown away. Okay. All right. Last section. <laughs> Okay, 
right guys, it is the moment of truth. Let us see how my hair looks all out. Here we go. Va, va, vum. Yes, 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 honey. It is looking so freaking nice. I am so obsessed. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. I am gonna go in with a little bit of my shine spray. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on my hands. And I'm just gonna go like this through my hair. I love this shine spray so much. It smells amazing. I say it every single video because I genuinely mean it. And it's just really light. It doesn't weigh down my hair. All right, guys. This is the final result. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'll tell you what I think. I think out of all the Revlon ones that I've tried, this one's like this one's my favorite one. I I'm I I can't even talk. I just keep looking at my hair. I'm like, wow, wow, this is really pretty. So you agree? You think you're really pretty? <laughs> That's like the moment I'm having right now. This is so nice. Like the way that my hair just sweeps. It is. Oh, I'm gonna have my final thoughts. Let's get into it. So one of the things that I really appreciate about this blow dryer in comparison to the other ones is for one of the size, like it's smaller than the original one, but it still gets a lot of hair. So I'm able to really blow dry a big section of my hair uh, in a very quick timeline, right? Also, if I were to compare it to the booster, this one is great great if you have short hair in my personal opinion this to me if you have like if you have sh uh shoulder length hair or anything longer i think this would work perfectly if i were to use this on my hair right now with the length that it is to me i think it would just take a long time it would take a longer time also this is just the root booster like this is technically just to to volumize the roots of your hair technically but i still love this bad boy in my on my whole entire head also because it's missing um thicker bristles i realized that for me my hair would actually slip out a lot easier using the root booster in comparison to the volumizer plus it handles the most like the original, but it is like the updated original. Two, I would say it's a little bit confusing because this one technically has a medium and high setting. And unfortunately for me, I felt like while I was blow drying my hair, the medium and the high felt exactly the same. The temperatures were exactly the same. So now I just feel like I'm caught up in them saying that they have a medium and high setting, when in reality, it's just like, a high and then a high 2.0 it didn't really change anything now granted i did use the medium heat on my entire hair and my hair did blow dry extremely fast and i am so very grateful for that because i mean like this i've been recording now for about 50 minutes just to let you guys know how long i've been sitting here but i think it probably took me like 25 minutes out of the 50 minutes that i actually used to blow dry my hair which is stellar record other than that i genuinely love it i definitely think that it's my favorite i'm hoping that revlon comes out with different attachments for this because it doesn't really make any sense to me or i don't really know why they made it into two different pieces instead of one uh, just one whole thing like this maybe it's to save space in your bag if you were to carry it but for me it doesn't really make any sense but who knows maybe there's a long-term goal here for revlon um i would probably rate this product like a 8.5 or a 9 out of 10 to be honest my hair feels really really nice it feels very smooth it feels like the rich girl blowout that i mentioned in my first video if you guys watched it then you will know exactly what i meant what i'm talking about and referring to one of the things that i wish that revlon had in their devices was just a blast cool air button was just a a cool button i really wish that they just made like this or put something here where i can you know just tap it and then get some cool air on here because it does get very hot <laughs> like that the medium got really hot at some points there i was like oh my hair like i was like barely able to touch it with my hand so i don't know if that would increase the, the cost of the actual products because you know having to like turn it like i know that they have a cool setting but to turn it while you're blow drying is 
it's kind of unrealistic. I'd have to like stop and, and know, and then you have to hear, and it's just too much. It's too much, it's too much. Oh, you know what? I just read on the back of the box. It literally says travel and storage friendly on the back. So that's why they made it two different pieces instead of one, which I guess makes sense. But I hope that there's a long-term goal. I'm hoping that Revlon comes out with different attachment heads because that would be really cool if they're taking that angle. Then it's kind of like Dyson's got some competition. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I think that wraps up this video. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave all of the products that I use in today's video down in the description in case you guys are interested. I know that I keep saying this, but I'm gonna say it again because this product is freaking amazing. I really like, I, re I really like it. I really like it and I think you will too, just saying. I've never tried any of Jay's products. This is my first one and I immediately put in my hair and I was like, oh, so yes. All right, and with that being said, that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will leave the links for you guys in the description so you guys can check them out. And if you have any comments, let me know. Leave them below. All right, guys, I'll see you guys with the next one. See ya.